continuing our discussion with Dr. Kishore Shalu, who is now running unopposed for the Cricket West Indies presidency following the withdrawal of Jamaica Cricket Association President Wilford Billy Heaven last Friday. Dr. Shalu, who is from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the current vice president of Cricket West Indies, is discussing in depth his four point plan that he will implement during his tenure. Uh, Dr. Shalu, you're still with us? Yes, yes. Yeah, just picking up where we left off, and I want to look at human capital. There's a point under that, point two, recruit and appoint the best people. Now, if memory serves me right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but when the scary shallow ticket emerged in 2019, one of the things that came out strongly in that campaign was the desire to utilize regional talent in key spaces of West Indies cricket. Now, back then, I almost got the impression that we wanted to do away with bringing in international talent, meaning from a, a coaching standpoint, management standpoint, whatever it is that was needed. Is, is, is that still the same? Is it the same thinking under this shallow-led administration? At, at the time, I think it was quite important that we explore our original expertise. And, and you know, I'm, I'm quite happy that we have had the opportunities to, to, to do that. Um, we have seen and we, you know, some local talents who we have given the opportunity, whether it's in coaching, you know, management and so on, they have certainly improved as a result. Um, you, you would know that currently we are out there in the market trying to, to secure the services of a new coach. In fact, two coaches, a white ball and red ball. And what you would see now is, is, is us exploring the best you know, globally. And at this stage, that is what we're saying in terms of what, what is there in the manifesto. And we are hoping to identify the best persons most suited to our environment, meaning they must be, you know, they must fit in culturally and otherwise. And, and certainly, you, you also see in the document the, that we talk about have a certain pride and passion for West Indies cricket. These are things that we must ensure. And, you know, we, 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 how do you know that? You know, it could be a matter of ensuring that when you, you are interviewing these persons, you know, they are able to tell you about our history. They are able to show you a good understanding and appreciation of West Indies cricket and so on. Yeah. All right. So we're not focused on necessarily those within our region, but we're saying the best from wherever it is they come. Correct. Absolutely. Fantastic. Um, this part is not in your manifesto, but I feel I, I must ask. Wilford Billy Heaven withdrew from the race last Friday. First of all, were you surprised at his withdrawal? Um, I was not. Um, I, I have communicated with, with Billy. Billy has been a colleague of mine since about 2017. And I think I have a very good understanding of how he operates. And so all along, I, I sort of suspected that there would be a matter of time and, and so on. So I, I was not surprised. Yeah, in, in a statement um, announcing his withdrawal, he said, my objective is to serve the greater good of West Indies cricket, but unfortunately, this is not likely to be achieved if some fundamental changes are not made to the constitution and the existing rule of governance. Um, did heaven have any conversations with you about issues he was having in relation to the process? Um, not at all. Um, I, I think, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it comes down to if you can get the majority of the votes or not. And, you know, I suspect that it is just simply that. But, you know, in saying that, it, back to my manifesto, we spoke there about governance. And I'm quite happy to hear that, you know, Billy is is speaking about you know us evolving as in terms of our governance that is certainly something that i am 100 percent committed to and you know it's, it's just happy to hear that a colleague on the board is, is saying that because it's something that we must all aspire to do to just keep evolving so maybe that is all he's saying in his statement do you think that there needs to be any changes to the way the election process is managed or operated I don't think there's an issue with the with the process, the election process. You know, I mean, it's democratic, 
um, over the years, it has you know done the job that it's meant to be. And but it's something that we must keep looking at. We must keep finding ways, like as I normally say, identify opportunities for improvement. And that isn't only for the election process or governance. It has to do with cricket, marketing, and, and commercial, um, and every other aspect of our of our um, of our, our organization. Yeah, uh, Doc, we're going to leave it there. Uh, we go back to 2001. I think it was Chetram Singh, the Guyanese cricket president at the time, had stepped into the elections as the lone candidate. And uh, at the end of that annual general meeting, he wasn't accepted as the, as, as the president. And I think that was when Wes Hall came in as the president. I don't suspect that that is going to happen to you. But on, a, on another show, we'll discuss the unifying um, posture of a cricket administration in the West Indies, because I think part of the problem is too many administrators pulling in different directions. So um, as time goes on, we wish you luck in this um, new role, Dr. Shallow. And uh, we'll talk again next week when you're formally um, anointed president of Cricket West Indies. Thanks. Thanks, Lance. And I'm looking forward to discussing the unity of purpose, which is also in the manifesto. Yes. And we, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to talk about that going forward. Okay, Dr. Kishore Shallow. Lone candidate for Cricket West Indies presidency at the annual general meeting coming up this weekend in Antigua and Barbuda. Still a lot more to come on the Sportsmax Zone. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment. <laughs>